Statistics Standard Deviation A group of 11 people entering an event were found to have the ages shown below 19, 19, 17, 17, etc. were asked to calculate the average age the range or spread of ages and the standard deviation for the distribution for this particular group here. The mean or average can be obtained using the following formula. X bar is sigma x over n, the sum of all the x values, all the instances divided by the number of numbers. And in this example, n is 11. We have 11 people. So that's our n, our total population size. So to get to mean, we say x bar is equal to the sum of 19 plus 19 plus 17, all the ages, divided by 11. This turns out to be 198 divided by 11, or 18 years of age. And that's our average. We now turn to the range. Calculating the range or spread of ages for the distribution. Again, we have 11 people with the following ages. The range of ages reflects the span or spread of ages from the lowest value. The lowest value, we might look and say, well, 19 is the lowest so far, 17 is lower, we keep with 17, they're all higher, oh, and then there's 16. So 16, with no values coming after it, is the lowest value in the group. And to move to the highest, we say 19 is the highest, yes, yeah, still highest, still highest, or oh, 20 is the highest, and there's nothing coming after it that's higher, so 20 is the highest value. So for the data involved, the range of ages is given as follows. They go from 16 at the lowest to 20 at the highest or the difference between the highest and the lowest, the range of ages is four, four years. Calculating the standard deviation for the distribution. The standard deviation of a distribution provides a measure of the spread or variation in the data values. It's calculated using the following formula, which is provided in the tables. So sigma is equal to the square root of the sum of xi minus x bar squared over n. Or more simply written, without the xi, meaning the sum of all the x values, well, x minus x bar values squared over n. So we're now going to use that formula. To do that, sigma depends on how far individual values vary from the average of all the values. So in the case of the 11 people, the standard deviation can be calculated as follows. We'll write the x values, the 11 values, out in order like this. They're the 11 individual values. The x bar, or the mean, we found to be 18. So every number there is just 18. x minus x bar, taking the, the average from each of them, 18 from 19 is plus 1, 18 from 19 is plus 1, 18 from 17 is minus 1, 18 from 17 is minus 1, etc. All the way to the end, 18 from 16 is minus 2. But the formula requires that difference to be squared, x minus x bar squared. So we're going to take this row and multiply each item by itself. So 1 squared is 1, 1 squared is 1, minus 1 by minus 1 is 1, minus 1 by minus 1 is 1, 2 by 2 is 4, etc. All of these values here are positive values because they arise from the square. Either plus by plus is plus or minus by minus is plus. So the sigma of all of this row, the last row here, is 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, written here, plus all the numbers there. So that's our sigma or our sum of the entire row of x minus x bar squared. Rewriting it here, or adding it up, we find that the sum of x minus x bar squared is 14. So we now have two points of information. We know that the number of numbers is 11, and this intermediate value, sigma x minus x bar squared, is 14. 
So using this information to get the standard deviation, the formula said that sigma is equal to the square root of x minus x bar squared over n. But this term here is exactly what we've calculated here. So all we've got to do is substitute that value, and we also know the value of n. So sigma is 14 from this, and 11 from the n. So the square root of 14 over 11. So using a calculator, 14 over 11, and then with your answer, hit the square root button, we find that sigma is 1.1281521.